Labor statistics predicts the most employment growth by 2022 will be among health care support jobs. News 13's Jackie Brocking had sat down with the CEO of Florida Technical College to talk about this booming market and what steps to take to prepare for a career in the health field. That's in today's In Depth. government is predicting major job growth in the healthcare industry over the next several years. So what could this mean for people entering the workforce or considering a new career? Well, joining us to go in depth on this is David Ruggieri. He is the CEO of Florida Technical College. Thanks so much for stopping by. Thank you so much. Let's talk about this. How much growth are we talking about here? The health industry is growing dramatically because of two things. Uh, one, the population is aging uh, effectively, which is good. Mm -hmm. And two, because they realize that there's shortages in critical areas. Now that this economy has proven itself to be so robust in healthcare, they're finding new ways to be able to help people get better. So there's new positions becoming available, mm -hmm. new opportunities for people who might be in allied health or health now, and you know, changing to something different within that field. So it's growing pretty rapidly. Well, are there medical fields that are growing faster than others? Mm -hmm. Cardiac. Pediatric is becoming probably as large uh, as one would ever expect. And I think the reason for that, again, is because we're finding different ways to deal with children's diseases. And as a result of that, things are expanding and growing. Uh, and the normal internal medicine, the normal, you know, normal stuff you go see a doctor for, because there are such a, an onslaught of patients, many of these doctors that are like with the larger hospital groups that operate clinics in and around Orlando, have anywhere between five and 9,000 patients. And so you've got a tremendous amount of people coming through on a seven or eight minutes sort of a basis. So that just expands and keeps moving and as Central Florida becomes more heavily populated, um, the need for that is becoming more aggressive and obviously medical city, yes. I mean, just by itself will open up a tremendous amount of opportunity for people. So it's, it's a, if somebody were looking for a career, that's a good place to start. And one of the other things too, we're living longer. Mm -hmm. uh, that's another thing. And in Florida, it's got the, one of the highest rates of you know senior citizens, if you will. Mm -hmm. So um, that also adds to it. It does dramatically mm -hmm. because the percentage, even though it might be a small percentage, is a very significant number of people. Mm -hmm. And the good news is we're living longer, so hopefully we'll live good. healthier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are there any other fields that you know that are expected to grow uh, rapidly over the next several years? You know, our area, we see two things. One, um, hospitality. You don't have to go too mm. far on Highway 4 towards uh, the west to see that Universal right. Studios is expanding dramatically. Uh, Disney, with the whole Star Trek mm -hmm. uh, attractions and the things that are going on now are bringing just more job opportunities to those places. And, and with a multitude of opportunity, because it's not like there's one particular field or job that they're hiring for. Mm -hmm. They're hiring people for all different types of jobs with a good opportunity to grow and advance depending on how well they do. And anything related to construction. We find that heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, plumbing, electrical, uh, construction is, is, is not booming. I no. don't want to be that overzealous, but right. it's certainly getting better. Mm -hmm. And as a result of that, you've got to find people who are willing and able to do those jobs. So those are good fields for us here in Central Florida. Okay, willing and able, let's go then to how much education do people generally need to get into something like this? Is it necessarily college, a trade school? Or... Either. Mm -hmm. It's an interesting question because a person needs to get trained. If you're going to work in heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, we'll take that as an example, you need to know how to be able to do the things that it takes in order to get that job done, which right. is a combination of electricity and mechanical, et cetera. And there are different ways you can do that. You can go to a school. You can try to get on with a firm already where you have some opportunities to do maybe some on-the-job training. The old, in the old days, we had OJT. You worked in sort of an apprenticeship. And right. A lot of those days have sort of passed us by, but the opportunity in some cases still exists. The thing about it is you've got to find out what it is you kind of want to do. That's the most important thing about going to any school is right. just sit back and try to step back a little bit and start with the end in mind. Is that how you want to spend the rest of your life? Maybe you won't spend the rest of your life, but you've got to ask that question going into it. Is this how I want to spend the rest of my life? And then back it up and then try to find not necessarily a school, but find the right school. 
visit three or four places that offer the program, talk to the people, get a chance to look at some of the placement performance of the existing graduates of that school. Look at the tuition, make sure you can afford it. Make sure this is the right time to go to school. Right. You've got childcare taken care of, you've got transportation taken care of. And once you get past all of those, then select a school where you look around and say, I can fit into this group. And I, I can I, grow. Yeah, well, grow a little bit later, but right now I need to graduate. Okay. I need to go to class, I need to show up, I need to do okay. the home, and then I'm comfortable. I'm around people that look like me, they act like me, they feel like me, and that's probably as important as anything. Because nobody wants to start school and drop out. All you get then no. is debt. Really, absolutely. And, and that's just terrible. That's the, that's the at least have a job to look, to look forward to when you're finished. Yeah, <laughs> All right. At least. All right, David Ruggieri, thank you so much. You're so very welcome. Okay. Thank you. All right. <laughs>